Hello and welcome to the Titus Time Out podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Sivy, and before I get into today's topic, I'm very excited to say that this is my 100th Titus Time Out podcast. So thank you to everyone who's watched the weekly podcast and keep sending me ideas for topics. Okay, so now to the podcast. So last week I discussed direct drive versus belt drive fans, and I mentioned that belt drive fans are flexible because you can change the fan speed by changing the pulley size. So this week I want to do a quick calculation showing you how to do that. So let's go back to where we left off in the last podcast. So let's zoom in here a little bit and look at just our belt drive fan. I talked about the fan and the motor having a pulley and then a belt connected them. So as the motor rotated, the belt would cause the pulley on the fan to rotate. So by changing the size of the pulleys, you can change how fast the fan rotates at any given motor speed, and therefore the airflow. So now let's look at the equation for that. Okay, the equation to calculate the fan speed from the speed of the motor is diameter of the fan times the speed of the fan equals diameter of the motor times the speed of the motor. So let's say we have a fan pulley that is six inches in diameter, and the motor pulley is four inches in diameter, and the motor is rotating at 1300 RPM. So the speed of the fan is equal to the diameter of the motor times the speed of the motor divided by the diameter of the fan. So that's four times 1300 divided by six, which equals 867 RPM. So you can calculate the new CFM using the fan laws, or more likely you'll use the fan laws to calculate the RPM you need because you know the CFM you need. So let's say you are getting 2000 CFM at your 867 RPM fan, but you need 2400 CFM out of your fan. So let's use the first fan law, which is CFM1 divided by CFM2 equals RPM1 divided by RPM2. We can solve that for RPM2, which is now equal to RPM1 times CFM2 divided by CFM1. So let's put in our numbers, 867 times 2400 CFM we want divided by the 2000 CFM we have is 1040. So that's 1,040 RPM is what we need out of this fan. So now we can go back to our equation for the pulleys, and the diameter of the fan is equal to the diameter of the motor times the RPM of the motor divided by the RPM of the fan. So that is 4 times 1,300 divided by 1,040, and that equals five inches. So a five inch diameter pulley on our fan system here would give us the 2400 CFM we're looking for. So it's a quick look at how you can calculate what size pulley you need for a given CFM. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and thanks for taking a time out with us.